The fallout may not end with just one executive scalp. There are calls for AMP's chairwoman to stand aside even before the company completes an internal review. Craig Miller has been in the top job at AMP for four years and was planning to leave at the end of the year, having failed to lift the company's performance. The revelations this week are so serious uh, that I think the chairman didn't have any alternative but to um, enforce an immediate departure. In a statement, Mr Miller said he was personally devastated by this week's revelations. The Commission heard AMP charged almost 16,000 customers fees for no service and then misled the corporate watchdog for almost a decade to cover it up. AMP also interfered with a supposedly independent report from law firm Clayton Utz to downplay the involvement of senior executives in the scandal. The revelations at the Royal Commission concerning AMP have been quite shocking. I think the degree of um, client theft, as it's called, it's been called fee for no service, but I think we should really be calling it client theft, has been quite extraordinary. Until a replacement is found, the top job will be filled by non-executive director Mike Wilkins, who is a former boss of insurer IAG. AMP's chair, Catherine Brenner, has apologised unreservedly for the failures, but there are calls for her to fall on her sword. The chair of the board should resign sooner rather than later. A large public company like AMP, you can't just have the CEO and the chairman go at the same time. You need some form of stability and once the CEO is in place, then I think we may see some board changes, uh, but that's you know, later this year. AMP will undertake a comprehensive review of its reporting and governance processes to be overseen by a retired judge and promises to return to the Commission to respond to the scandal. Emily Stewart, ABC News, Melbourne.